Hey, Andy here. I get asked a lot of questions and I like to respond and the best way to respond is obviously with a video. And that's why we're here. So I had posted a video not long ago on Rancher Government's page about in-place upgrades for downstream clusters and some of the tips and tricks around Rancher and Harvester. A person named Joshua Yorko reached out and said, hey, we'd love to see how to properly set up TLS certs so Rancher and multi-cluster management can work with Harvester in a trusted flow, not self-signed, but trusted. I said, cool, let me make a video. So obviously that's what this is. So we're gonna go over just how to set up Rancher, how to add certs, uh, and then I will show you, I can pull in my, yeah, I can pull in my Harvester and show you how to set certs there. Although really for that Rancher Harvester connection, it's really about the Rancher cert, not so much the Harvester cert. And this will make sense, uh, hopefully. Okay, so what I did, what we can do is we can start by looking at some of the docs. At a high level, the docs basically say you could go ahead and create a secret, and then when you do the Helm install, tell Rancher about that secret. So let me go ahead. I created a gist. This will be in the show notes. And for testing purposes, I just took a single VM and just installed the latest version of RKE2. So we can do a kube CTO get node. So I'm just running a single node on my machine. It's 128. 12 version almost doesn't really matter uh, to a certain extent. The other thing I've gone and done is set up my environment. I'm going to go ahead and install Helm. I don't think I installed Helm yet. Nope, I have it. So let's go ahead and install Helm. Uh, so Helm's going to go ahead and install. And now we've got Helm. And I'm going to add my two repos. So the first one I have to add is obviously the Rancher one. The second one is going to be JetStack. So that's Cert Manager. So when we talk about certificate creation, either we can create it externally or we can use Cert Manager itself. And that is a whole other video on how to set up uh, Cert issuers and things like that. And that will actually create for you. But it's, you know, when we're talking about a trusted flow, whether it's self-signed or self-signed in a different format locally, or you create an internal CA, it's still not officially trusted, trusted. Uh, cool. Slack message popped up. Don't care. Uh, I'll get, get to it later, obviously. So the first thing we're going to do is just install Cert Manager. And, and I like, I put it in there, even though it's not necessary. I put it in just because it's part of my normal workflow and it's there in case we need to do anything internally. Uh, fun fact, Rancher uses Cert Manager for that self-signed cert if you do not provide one, so which is good. Uh, actually, give me one sec. Let me pause the video real quick. I'll be right back because I need to copy the certs over. I forgot to copy my certs in. Hold on. Okay, we're back. I forgot to set that up. Trying to get a video in. I got a flight this afternoon. I figured I'd throw one in real quick and cool. <clears throat> okay, so just to check, okay, I got a bunch of certs there. I was doing some bandwidth testing too. Okay, regardless, I've got Cert Manager installed and we can see that uh, get pod. We can see that we now have Cert Manager installed and running. By the way, the Helm install for Cert Manager will actually wait until Cert Manager is completely up and running and then it'll return. I think it automatically adds in the dash dash wait. Okay, here's the meat and potatoes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do, in order to create those secrets, you need the namespace. So we're gonna create the cattle namespace, the cattle system namespace. Then we're gonna create the secret with key. I'm not gonna hit enter on this one. Um, so notice I'm using the star.rfed.io cert. And then I'm using the star.rfed.key. So I actually went out and purchased a wildcard certificate for rfed.io. So that gives me the ability to do some fun things. So I'll go ahead and create that. And what we can do is kubectl. First day with the fingers, right? So you can see that our secret's already there. The other thing we need to do is create is the CA. I like adding that in there as well, just so we now have it. We can get our secrets. And we can see that we have the CA and we have the Rancher Ingress one. Okay. Now, all we need to do, and we got to modify this real quick, because um, I have it as a slip, but I forgot I have the um, uh, wildcard cert there. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a name that's in the cert. So in our case, in my case, it's going to be rfed.io are fed because that's the cert I have. And just kind of point something out real quick. Uh, 
So we're using the Helm and we're using, we're telling it specifically, actually we don't even need create namespace because the namespace is already created. It, it actually, uh, if my understanding correct on Helm is it says, if it's not there created, if it is, then keep moving. I'm setting a bootstrap password. Ooh, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'll, I'll update the gist because we don't need a bunch of these things. We don't need audit log. We don't know log path. In fact, that'll actually hurt us. Right, let me go this way. Do, 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 do. You gotta love it when uh, you're trying to rush things out. Okay, delete all this. You don't need all this. And again, I'll, I'll update the gist before uh, I post the video. So that way, look at the gist specifically. Um, this is really meant to be just a down and dirty for Joshua. Okay, cool. Okay, so I set the replicas to one, and then I tell on the helm, uh, helm, I tell Rancher, okay, use this source, and the source is secret, and I give it the name. So notice the TLS Rancher ingress, TLS Rancher ingress, set private CA equals true, so then that'll look for the TLS CA secret. Okay, go ahead and hit enter. Okay, now it's up and running. And one of the things I need to do, let me think about this. So this, well, we'll watch this. So kubectl get ingress. So we can see now that we've got the cattle system. And then what I need to do, let me go ahead and pause real quick. Ah, eh, you can see it. I'm not too worried about it. You can see all the things on my local network. What I'm doing is I'm just setting an Etsy host on my local machine to point to whoop. so now that's saved and let's uh, yep so we got cattle system ranchers up and running so if we go here Cool. And notice we're in already and you can see we've got our nice lock. So that worked. Uh, really the, the trick around secrets is the, sorry, the trick around TLS certs is just create the secret and tell Rancher what it is. The ingress object will manage it. In fact, here, and keep me honest on this one. Uh, get uh, ingress. Oh, I don't have autocomplete in here. Don't you love it when you're using a new machine? So we can look at the YAML. We can see that it actually is calling out in the ingress object those specific certs. Uh, the, that secret, right, which is nice. And where was the bootstrap password that we used? Do, do, do. Bootstrap all the things. So just to keep me honest, log in with local user. And we can see. So when we're talking about Harvester, right, that's kind of the key. Harvester wants to validate that Rancher has a legit signed cert. And that's a real good way to do it. And then if you're going to go ahead and add Harvester, you go into virtualization, import, demo, and hit create. And notice now we've got a URL that has a legit cert. And for those, let me actually pull in. This is my current Harvester. You can see I'm running a bunch of things. Uh, the way you connect, you plumb it in is you go under advanced, you go to settings, and then down here there's the client registration URL. So literally it's just paste in that URL here. Edit setting, and you're done. So uh, like I said, I'll update the gist. This will be cleaned up and sorted out. The docs here, you can read more about the docs. Um, you can also use, uh, like I said, cert manager. I think really it, it, the, tr the trick with the certs is going to be where you're getting it from. Where's the root CA, where's the CA, um, whether it's internally at your company agency, whatever, or in my case, I think I'm using like alpha SSL, some cheap $80 for a year wildcard, uh, just easier for me with all of my demoing, um, Hope this helps. Uh, just This video is just for you, Josh. I just want to point that out. But if anybody else has any other questions, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. You can reach out to me on YouTube. 
Uh, I'll throw my email in the gist as well or in the show notes. And I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Oh, subscribe. It helps me. At least do I know who, who I'm chatting with. And, and yeah. Thanks. Peace.